Hello, wonderful fans. Welcome back to Best Car. Each show is an adventure, and you're always a part of the fun. If you're new, click the subscribe button to become a part of our great group. With a comprehensive update that puts all the attention on the details for the 2025 model year, the S-Class enters its final phase as a combustion-powered sedan. Looking only at the outside, only those who have followed the S-Class color scheme from year to year will be able to tell that this is a different design for the 2024 sedan. Verde Silver Metallic and Velvet Brown Metallic, yes, brown, are the two new hues. The hue that fills the fantasies of all automobile riders. Comfort headrests that sandwich soft pillows between leather and conventional hair will be standard on the inside. Mercedes has integrated RideVu from Sony Pictures Entertainment, expanding the selection of streaming alternatives by one and enabling the use of in-cabin devices to view movies from Sony's collection. The S-Class interface customizations, according to RideVu, enabled content to be streamed simultaneously on up to six different in-car or personal screens or watched separately on each device. These adjustments include parental controls, fantastic movies including Jumanji, The Next Level, Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse, Ghostbusters, Afterlife, and The Equalizer 3 will be on the changing list of titles. Mercedes MBUX infotainment system, which is located closer to the sedan's home in Germany, will make parking assist ideas easier to locate and utilize. Pre-installation for the digital key, which works with Android smartphones, will be accessible in the United States and Canada for international markets. For everyone else, a new rear seat recall determines when to notify front row passengers about whatever they might have left in the back seat based on when the rear doors are opened, i.e., when something is placed in the back seat before the car is started and driven off. As part of MBUX Entertainment Plus, the manufacturer program sedan will come equipped with an OLED head-up display as standard. Previous sources indicate that a more significant redesign and update are planned for 2026. We're informed that the simpler user interface will reappear at some point, possibly for a planned update in 2029. The redesigned instrument panel will include a new hyperscreen with an optional passenger display, and touch sliders on the steering wheel will reportedly be replaced by capacitive buttons and a thumb wheel. Intuitive ergonomics will return, but I'm not saying analog is the new digital, stated Hartmut Sinkwitz, the interior chief. Instead, we'll provide clients with the best of both worlds. The 2025 S-Class is already accepting orders, deliveries to Europe are scheduled to start in late July, and deliveries to the U.S. will start in late August.